Hello and welcome to Cask Theology, a channel about theology and beer. And if you want to learn about wheat beer, then you are in the right place because I'm going to be opening each one of these three bottles and talking about wheat beer. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Let's start as we mean to go on, and we're going to start with Erdinger. And while I'm pouring this little Erdinger, I'm going to give you three guesses as to what the deal is with wheat beer. Okay, first guess. It was a good try, but it was wrong. Okay, second guess. What? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, third guess. Third guess. Come on, see if you can guess what the what the deal is with wheat beer. While I pour this lovely beer. Ooh, it looks lively. Ah, third guess. Yes, you've got it. Wheat beers are made from wheat. Yes, made from wheat. So, wheat beers hail from the lovely country of Germany. The Germans do love a good beer. That is going to go everywhere. Good job I've got this mat, isn't it? Okay, so they hail from Germany, and they're either called Weissbeers or Weisens. I've probably mispronounced that, so uh, if you want to correct me down in the comments, uh, please do. Uh, I'll put the names up here as well somewhere so you can actually read them. Uh, also, you may have noticed that I've managed to sort out this horrible autofocus nonsense that I've had going on. Uh, I'm using a new camera, and I couldn't find the setting. I have found it now, so hopefully, there you go. I won't be giving you seizures or making you feel as if you're drunk already. Now, uh, although they're called wheat beers, uh, they're not entirely made of wheat. So I'm just going to open this second example of a Weiss beer and go into a bit more detail about that. So these beers, of course, they hail from Germany. Oh, there we go. And they were originally brewed for the aristocracy back in the day. And the name itself, Weissbeer, is uh, roughly translates to white beer. Oh, that one's behaving a bit. That one behaves a bit better. There we go. Let's plonk you down there. Now, of course, even though they're called wheat beers, they don't solely contain wheat. They do, in fact contain the malted barley as well. It's just the proportion of wheat is much higher. Um, and they put the barley in to kickstart the fermenting process uh, and, uh, and get, that, uh, get that going. So, whew, let's have a quick look at these. And as you can see, these are quite different from your usual beers because they're a bit cloudy. Uh, ABV notes, they are both in the region of 5%. This one is 5, and this one, I believe, was 5 point something? 5.3, I think it said. Oh dear, I'm going to have to look at it now. 5.3, yes. There we go. So, while we're in the middle of this video, uh, and uh, while I just bring up this beer to the camera, now is probably... A good time to uh, ask you to like, share, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'm currently at 19 subscribers at the recording of this video and that irks me somewhat. So please just feel free to wallop that little button down there and let's get it to 20 because that's a nice round number, isn't it? Oh, 19. What kind of a number is that? Anyway, I, I, I always uh, raise a glass to every subscriber I get. For, uh, when they're new. Um, mm. So, yeah, if this thing kicks off, man, that's going to be quite interesting, isn't it? Whew. Imagine I've got 10,000 subscribers one day. Crikey, that'd be a day, wouldn't it? Mm. So. so, quick intermission. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, I'd only got 19 subscribers at the time of recording, but uh, Someone pressed press that lovely button uh, before I uploaded it. Uh, so thank you very much. As I said, I raise a glass to every one of my new subscribers. So cheers. 
Oh, lovely. Back to your usual scheduled wheat beer content. These were, as I said, brewed in Bavaria and the regions in Germany for the aristocracy. They like to use wheat instead of barley. And, uh, and they were brewed in accordance with the Bavarian purity laws as well. So only natural ingredients went into them. Um, so no added extras. As you can see by, by these, they do actually kind of resemble the grain that they're made from. Uh, they are quite cloudy. Uh, so that definitely tells you that they're a, they're a different kind of deal. And they're slightly lightly carbonated. I don't know if you can pick that up from the camera, but there are little bubbles in there. Uh, another note about these guys as well is that they are what's known as bottle conditioned, which I've mentioned, I believe, in my Lambic episode. Uh, Lambic as well also uses a lot of wheat in there and can be kind of classed as a subclass of wheat beer, I guess, in some respect. Um, but yeah, they're bottle conditioned, which means that uh, they're still doing their thing while they're in the bottle. How interesting, which is why sometimes you get some little bits of sediment in the bottom of them. Um, and uh, yeah, either in the bottom of the bottle or in the bottom of your glass. Perfectly harmless, it's just yeast and bits and bobs, it's all natural. Won't hurt you. Uh, tasting wise, tasting wise, they are quite smooth. They're quite smooth. They're not, they do taste like, like wheat. They've got that wheaty kind of tang to them. And they're not say like sour, uh, and they're not bitter, but they are more on the sort of non-sweet end of the spectrum of beer. They're not sweet beers. Um, they're more, I don't know, save, yeah, more savoury, I guess, is, the, is a good word to use. Um, certainly not sweet. Uh, quite an interesting taste. So, it weren't just the Germans that had a go at the old uh, white beer. Yes, you probably noticed this big boy in the middle and he is a wit beer. Uh, and of course, if you can read the label on this lovely whizzy new camber, you can see that it's the original Belgian wheat beer. Because, yep, of course the Belgians had to get involved because they love beer just as much as the English and the Germans. So, uh, wheat beer, or again, white beer, or wheat beer, it was uh, brought back in the 1960s by a chap called Pierre, who uh, he missed his wheat beers from, from, his, from his youth because no one was brewing it anymore. So he brewed one and it became popular and he named the brew after the town that he brewed it in, uh, which is, I believe, Ho Garden. Uh, I hope I've pronounced that right. Any Belgians, of course, feel free to correct me. Now, the difference between Belgians and Germans is that in the, in the Belgian version, they stick extra bits and bobs in. So uh, I don't know if we can get this up on the camera. Oh, there we go. Come on, Matt. Show your camera skills. You can probably see, just make out with me focus, coriander and orange peel in this one. Uh, again, wit beer is roughly tra translates to white beer. Let's crack this humongous bottle. It's the only bottle size I could get as well. <laughs> Woo. And have a look at some Belgian wheat beer. I am just about to burp. Oh, listen to those sounds. Made a pig's ear of that. <laughs> right, so Belgian, it's again, it, these are called white beers, but that's uh, that's not necessarily a reflection of the actual colour of the thing. It's not like golden ale, though it is actually gold. But again, you can see it's quite hazy, quite cloudy, reflecting the old uh, wheat that's in there. Again, they use a higher proportion of wheat than uh, than they do uh, the old uh, barley. Now, let's see if I can taste some of that coriander and orange peel in there. Mmm, and yes, I can. <laughs> Ooh, that is quite orangey. Yes, you can definitely taste a slightly orangey thing. Again, same smooth texture as the Germans. Uh, same wheaty sort of tang to it. Again, more on the, not on the sweet side, more on the other side. Uh, and there you have it. We've got three examples of wheat beer. Uh, as always, 
I picked these up from just a local supermarket. I think I got these from Asda. Uh, these are quite well-known brands, so they should be easy to pick up. And so there you have it, ladies and gents. That is wheat beer. Well, I hope you learned something today. Uh, please do feel free to like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, but until next time, go grab a drink and keep asking questions. And I'll see you next time.